Uh, Ever. They're putting these Ten Commandments up at courthouses. Well, if you look up at the top, you'll see the pyramid with the eye above it. That's That stands for Freemasons. So the Freemasons are putting that up. So when they vote that it, we have to have it up, you know what I mean? Because there's a separation between church and state. That's what they go by. Well, didn't the founders come up with that and, like, the, the, the Roman numerals in the pyramid or, or the year that the – of the Constitution's writing, and the, it it has symbolism that the eye is supposed to represent God, and and uh, but but they they took the 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 psychotic nutcases at, at Department of of Homeland Intimidation and Insecurity and monitoring and um, surveillance um, took that pyramid and 3D eyes it, and then made the and then took the eye and feminized it, put like eyelashes on it. And that was their symbol for their their um, their global surveillance camera program, and it's it's just like you know what what is wrong with these people? I mean, do they do they what was what was done to them as children? I mean, why why do they want to spy on everybody so bad? Why do they care so much? Why why is this such an obsession with them? And that that eye and the pyramid and oh let's make it a woman's eye. Oh yeah yeah oh yeah and and, and uh, put some makeup on it. And the new world order. Well, see, the dollar bill is the uh, is the Ark of the Covenant, the Devil's Ark of the Covenant. You can you can research that, and uh, unless you see it right in front of your face, I can't really explain it to you over the phone. You know what I mean? Just bring both circles on the back of a dollar bill almost together, and you'll see the devil on the top and now on the bottom. And it's is that oh, really? Is it like with a twenty dollar bill? You fold it a certain way, and you see the te- the trade center blow Keep- burning, and then you see the Pentagon on the other side. Exactly. And what do they call money? They call them notes, treasury notes. And what does a note tell you? It's a little story, doesn't it? It's just it. It's I mean, it's just a promise that hey, if I turn it, that the U.S. government is good for this, so I can hand somebody a piece of paper rather than like trading them like sixty you know, bottles of water for, for, uh, uh, you know, a steak or something like, you know, or, uh, that, that I can, cause it's kind of hard to carry around but tons of bottles of water. And I mean, that whole idea of money and federal reserve notes and thing like paper money and metallic discs is a representation of a value of a promise. And, um, it, what, I, I have a feeling that one day it's just going to be, Okay, what's this? Tw- what's this paper? It's a piece of paper with a dead guy on it. What's this supposed to do for me? The U.S. government is folded in. They've they've reneged on all their financial obligations. This is what drives me nuts about people that go, "Oh, the debt isn't that big of a deal. The national debt doesn't. We really owe it to ourselves anyway." It's like, what does that mean? That doesn't that that doesn't make any sense. No, we owe it to China and a bunch of other places. And and pretty much every other place in the country and dictator and drug lord in the world and terrorist. And- okay, guys, now hold on. Uh, we're not here to listen to Chris. Just this is a this is a discussion. Okay, so we want to hear other people say stuff too. Um, okay, someone someone go to First Timothy. 6- what are you saying, Debbie? Nothing. It's just it gets it turns into lecture mode and it begins to grate on me. And as much as I adore you, it just does. Does it, did you just say that, Victor? Well, I'd like to read something to you and then give give my commentary on it. If, if you can okay, all just mute for a second, I'd I like want to hear to do from a other people too. I want to hear from other people too. Okay, it's not just one person talking. There's other people on the call. Is what I'm saying. Do you hear Zurich purring? Go to go to First Timothy six verse nine and read. All right. Hold on, I'm digging through a lockbox for something for somebody. Hold on, damn it, I'm always doing something. Lockbox. <laughs> you can check the, they may not think they know where the lockbox is. Maybe they do. It is a lockbox. Now I'm going to relock the lockbox. All right, what do you say, First Peter, or what, First Timothy? Okay. Six, six verse nine. Second Timothy six nine. Yes. There is no Second Timothy six nine. All right, First Timothy. That's what I said. All right. I um, My bad. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. Wait a minute. Stand by, here it comes. First Timothy 6. All who are under the yoke of slavery 
should consider their masters worthy of full respect, so that God's name and our teaching may not be slandered. Those what who have believing masters should not it show them disrespect just because they are fellow believers. Instead, they should serve them even better because their masters are dear to them as fellow believers and are devoted. Where did he start at six? Yeah, we, we're, we're starting at verse nine. But it, if you want to, that's the all- and a trap and into many foolish. I don't know where. To, I don't know how to skip forward. Just go ahead and read it. It says something about yeah. He was doing good. He was doing good. Go ahead. Well, that, that, you said six nine, but they that, good. The whole, whole um, okay. So what? What's the point? What of? Keep, keep reading where you stopped from. Yeah, you were doing okay. fine. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Now, right now, there, it says, it says money is evil. The love of money is the root of all evil. Yes. The love of money. See, love people use money, not the other way around. Well, that's if without people, money would not be nothing. Yeah. Money is to be used. It's an in, it's an inanimate object. People are to be loved, and when you and when you start loving money, then usually you start using people. So if you can take the analogy that done that there wasn't no people, the devil would just sit be standing there stomping his feet like a little baby. Well, the devil's pissed off because he can't get back into heaven no matter what he does. He's 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 cast out, and so he can't do anything to God. So instead, so when you can't get at a, the person you want to get at, you go after their children and that's what satan's doing so, so would you say he wants to emulate god he wants to be like god well that was his yeah that that's that's why he's not allowed back in heaven that's why he's banished god sits at the mount of olives right that's where <coughs> god would sit on his throne um is that right i mean am i am i mixing up the mountains i mean i don't know i forget not sure about it but anyways a mountain a pyramid is a remake of a mountain okay a man-made mountain and the devil sits at the top of the the pyramid as which is the all-seeing eye which was the horus the all-seeing eye of horus which was a, a fake god the sun god which is why most churches go to church on Sunday because it was Sunday worship, sun worship. Okay. Yeah, that, that is true. Sunday comes from the worship of the sun. That's why they called it Sunday because they worship the sun. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I. Uh, that that's all possible. I mean, that 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 symbol with the eye and the pyramid, it, it is creepy. I mean, even if the founders came up with it and meant it for a certain reason, it is pretty creepy. And I don't. Well, I would have picked. I would have picked a different all, one. They were all Freemasons. Our founding fathers were all Freemasons. Yeah, you, you when you're a Freemason, and you have evidence of this. And maybe some of them were. I don't think all of them were. Look at George Washington. He's he. He saying, wasn't a Freemason. He sits on he he sits just like the Baphomet. There's pictures of George Washington sitting just like the Baphomet. Yeah, they were all. There's pictures crazy. of George Washington. Sta- um, there's statues in our historical monuments in the Washington D.C. of him sitting like Baphomet. What is Pat? What does that mean? What's Baphomet? It's like the goat sitting with titties and as in heaven, as on earth. Well, who sculpted that, and why is it in one of our museums? That's that's stupid. That's that's what he wanted. He was a Freemason. When all them guys are those little kilts, uh, uh, this doesn't sound like Washington. He, I'm not his, faith in God. Really, uh, well, just, I mean, just really look at all, look it up. You'll see that they were all everyone that signed a declaration was a Freeman. Now, now, when we're saying Muslims, uh, we're not saying all Muslims are bad. Okay, when we're saying Muslims, we're not saying all Muslims are bad. Okay, when we're saying Christians, like yeah, what's, what's they didn't do bad. Mr. Solution is, doesn't speak for every Christian. You know, we're out here. The Freema- Freemasons aren't Christians, though. Don't don't they believe that only Freemasons go to heaven or something? They're, they're something? Christians until yeah. they become thirty third degree. Yeah, they're they're just they're, they're, then they worship the light of Lucifer. You know, let them have their tree fort. Let them have their secret meetings and light their candles and and have their little secret meetings and all. I mean, you know, it's it's. It's 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 the childhood clubhouse. I mean, like you're no no people allowed that's not in the club and hasn't taken the secret right. 
of the Blood Brother. And I mean, it, it's like, do you remember when you were 12? I mean, it, hey, people in guys, the, the societies, they just never grew up. Um, just, guys, I, I'm, I'm going to, um, I'm kind of going to want to end the show, I think, because it's just kind of off the topic where I was wanting to go or something. I don't know how to put it, you know? Do y'all know what I mean? It's just kind of... I don't know. I just don't feel really included on the discussion. It just doesn't feel like it's my show or something. It's weird. All right. Uh, uh-huh. See you bye. What? I don't know how, how to word it. I mean, am I wrong mm-hmm. here or what? The 33rd Masons are the ones that bring, they're going to bring the New World Order. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Why does Chris hang up like that? That's weird. It's going to bring. Uh, just said bye. See you later. Bye. What? Boom. Well, that's stupid. I mean, it, it was just, I was just going to try to steer y'all back to the other topic. That's all. I hear you. Is anybody there? I'm here. Okay. I'm here. I think he's just real passionate in what he believes in. Well, I mean, yeah, it's like when Chris starts, he kind of doesn't stop or something. He just kind of just goes on and on and on. And, and it was all I could hear was Chris. To, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Okay. I can be wrong. Please trust me. I can be wrong. The great you got anybody trying to call you that uh, want to ask you what you think, Deb? See what they uh, what their spin is on it. Hold on, I have my headphones on. I had y'all on the speakers. Ah, sorry, I had y'all on the overhead speakers. The mic. Sorry. Um, no, it's just if if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But it just seemed like, and some people in the room were going, I feel like this guy's on on a rant or something. It was like, rah, rah, you know, just. Kind of, it kind of did sound like that, Debbie. If I'm wrong, I can be wrong. Uh, I, I agree with you. He was changing the subject all the way around. He like jumped off somewhere else. It was like, what are you talking about, buddy? And Chris, his Chris does that sometimes. And Eric, it seems like anytime we let him on, he kind of goes off into just, he just sort of takes over the show and begins to filibuster on it. I mean, I wasn't hearing alpha or one man or, and I hadn't heard loud for an hour and, I felt like if I spoke, I'd be interrupting him. So I, you know, it just sort of goes off into like a, I don't know. In there, I, that's what I had to do. I had to jump in there every time I talked. Sometimes I was talking while he was talking. Exactly. I, it's modulated out. Yeah. So I was just going to end it or something because I, you know, I felt like I just totally lost control of the whole thing. You know, whatever. You did good. You know, well, re- regain what you were what you were wanting to do. Just if you want, just finish it out. Or if you don't want to, then it's up to you. I was just mainly talking about um, the Antichrist and stuff, you know, yeah. and 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 who he, who we thought he was. And, exactly. That's yeah. really all. That's really all. I'm just sort of. I was it's, trying to wind it back. Yeah. Well, Chris just seems to filibuster when he comes on. And I, and it's so hard because it's like my brother, okay? I can say I love my brother, but my brother flirts with too many women too much or something like that. I love Chris. I really do. And I know you guys do too. But Chris tends to bloviate a little bit and tends to filibuster. And we've had the problem on shows before, so, you know, whatever. I love him to death, though. I, and I'll always love him to death. I think he's adorable. But He just said bye and hung up. I know. He just sort of ran. And I'm like going, wait a minute, Chris. Come back, you mullet. You I mean, you know, come back. Um, okay, so I was... Then on with the show. Well, okay. Run your... Is this one, one man? Yeah, I'm one man. Okay, okay. What happened to the other guy? Alpha Dog. He's still there. Yeah. I think. Alpha Dog's chill, man. Oh, yeah, okay. He's still I there. Thought you left, but... Well, I wish Chris would learn how to curtail his talk a little bit on shows because he's talked to me about it before and he knows it's a problem. But he says he just gets wound up and starts talking about it. I know. I know. There's a lot of things that that make me want to argue, but I'm finding it easier and easier to talk to people and just keep quiet on stuff and pick my battles. Yeah. Well, I know everybody agrees with me, but it's so hard. I mean, I would never be mean to him. I would never, ever say anything bad about, I can't say anything bad about the guy at all. He just gets over excited or something. He just like talk, talk, talk. He has so much to say. He does. He does. He has a lot to say. He was all. He was really into it. 
I know. And we were listening. We were listening to every word. And I just thought, oh, gosh, it's just getting a little bit out of hand here. But see, the truth is you told us.